Andy Jacko was evil. Seminoles fled him and his fellow racist Brits for the sanctuary of Spanish Florida. They preferred us, Brits. Jackson said that his was a superior race. He was Scots-Irish, according to my googling. The U.S. Army removed many Native Americans and thousands died in the Trail of Tears. I am not proud to be a Merkin of the United Snakes of AIDS. African Americans in St. Augustine, Florida, which I visited once in like 2009, since I lived in Miami most of my life. Florida was a Spanish sanctuary for Africans and natives fleeing the worse than Nazis Brits. Enslaved Africans arrived in St. Augustine. A Spanish governor granted their request for sanctuary, and he refused the British demands to return the, escape, the escapees, like a Bosch. The Spanish King Carlos II issued a royal decree granting freedom and protection to all enslaved Africans escaping the evil Brits, as long as they became Catholic heretics. So many freedom seekers came to Florida that in 1738 the governor Manuel de Montiano granted them a plot of land north of St. Augustine. So-called St. Augustine, he was probably a heretic. No, he was a heretic. Anyway, they established Fort Mose, the first legally established free African settlement in North America. So they say, maybe it was the second, I don't know. But it's one of the earliest ones. The British attacked and they captured Fort Mose but the Spanish and blacks regained it in a surprise attack. African settlers, when Florida was transferred to the British by a treaty in 1763, evacuated to Cuba with the rest of the Spanish from St. Augustine, San Agustin. In 1821 or so, I, didn't, I forgot to verify this date, but it's probably legit, Florida became a United States occupied territory causing a major setback for Africans and their descendants eliminating human rights that Spain recognized for them. Now I need to cover the issue of slavery. I grew up in the US most of my life which taught me that slavery is evil without exception. But I am a free thinker. I question what I'm taught even though when it came to slavery it took many years. I considered prisoners of war lacking freedom. They're slaves. The U.S. doesn't mind taking from ISIS terrorists and such. So the U.S. is hypocritical. Extremist liberals split hairs saying POWs, prisoners of war, are not slaves because they're not forced to work. A slave is a man with no freedom. Anything more is superfluous and arbitrary. It doesn't matter what your dictionary says because an idle slave is still a slave. Extremist liberals are hypocrites because they never bat an eye when a Nazi is killed. But if someone were to force them to clean dishes, they would screech, CRIME AGAINST HUMANITY! You say using a flamethrower on a Nazi is alright, but not making them clean dishes? That's hypocrisy. Totally justified. Totally evil to force him to clean dishes. That sounded more like Mickey Mouse than a feminazi. My bad. That's slavery. It can't be justified. My atheistic liberal nation abides so. I refuse to question what I'm taught. Liberal ethics are right. They want to be equal to men, so they kind of sound like men. Uh, crazy men, that is. God never said slavery is always wrong. Christianity is about being slaves to God, after all. The Victorian British knew that a wife was a slave of her master, her husband. Marriage is slavery. Think outside the box. Neither is slavery always bad. Britain never ended slavery because it still takes prisoners of war. A man with no freedom is a slave, period. Any gripe is splitting hairs. You're all hypocrites. Anglos never ended slavery. Men not free equals slaves. Same thing, slavery. Britain did not abolish cotton-picking slavery because it cared. 
but because its industrial revolution meant that capitalistic exploitation was more lucrative and it wanted to hit rival empires in their economies this is the sad reality if one man has a dollar he didn't work for some other man worked for a dollar he didn't get in many cases the rich got rich by stealing from the poor but in the case of the Spanish the Spanish uh, confiscated you could say stole but in that case I think justified from the rich bully Aztecs who stole from other natives when you you know is Robin Hood so bad from for stealing from thieves blacks sold blacks to Europeans so slavery was not always racist I did a, my first well not my first video but one of the earliest videos I did in this channel was proof slavery is not wrong and the backlash I got was a lot but I don't care I'm gonna be politically correct and consistent with reality even if it's unpopular and uh, even though people will hate me for it and want to murder me because I think for myself and I recognize the truth that if you can kill someone because they want to destroy you then putting them in chains is also justified otherwise you're a hypocrite according to Wikipedia's article on slavery in Africa around 90 percent of the blacks who were in chains were enslaved by fellow blacks who sold them to Europeans like the Portuguese and the British especially the Spanish were less into bringing in blacks which is why Mexico has so few blacks for example Cuba however had many blacks as I covered some of those blacks came from Florida running away from the British now to deal with the claim the Spanish were also genocidal maniacs like Brits I was born in Honduras where most people are Native American because Spain committed no genocide and I know they're Native American because I have eyes and, you, and look at them they have Native American features not European and not black nor mulatto I'll elaborate on this typical Hispanic girl typical Hispanic woman typical Hispanic man except maybe most can't grow that much of a mustache Argentina did commit a genocide but it was not the Spanish Empire and it was with British influence and direct participation go figure according to the British presence in southern Patagonia patbrit.org Alexander McLennan was engaged as a worker in Argentina and he is Scottish or was Scottish he gained a reputation for being a murderer he was known as the red pig and there was a reward for each Native American murdered with an ear presented as proof the Englishman Sam Hislop was flung to his death from a cliff because he was a mass murderer Julius Popper was not Spanish just because they were Argentine doesn't mean they were Spanish he was one of the perpetrators of genocide against the Native Americans of Tierra del Fuego or one of the tribes there and he was Khazar he was Ashkenazi not Spanish the natives were deported raped and exterminated why is this so slow hurry up sent the they sent the skulls of the murdered Selknam to museums like in London done in the name of science supposedly science here refers to Darwinian British racist pseudoscience which I proved wrong already in this series Darwin said they were akin to beasts by the same question may be asked with respect to these barbarians they sleep on the wet ground coiled up like animals the source of this of these quotes is voyages of the adventure and beagle propaganda by Darwin the language of these people scarcely deserves to be called articulate one of the fuegians who had been taken during the former voyage to England was ashamed of his countrymen Fuegians are the most abject and miserable creatures I anywhere beheld. Poor wretches, stunted, hideous faces, skins filthy and greasy, their hair entangled, and 
their voices discordant, their gestures of violence, without dignity. Viewing such men, one can hardly make oneself believe they are fellow creatures, inhabitants of the same world. The same question may be asked with respect to these barbarians. Huh? Those barbarians are your ancestors, the same blood and the same bloodlust. I am a barbarian of the original stock. My ancestors pissed on Albion before the Angles and Saxons came to kiss where they pissed. <laughs> loser. And the Darwin Award goes to. I love that Darwin is synonymous with loser and idiot. Racist Darwinian Brits try to turn the tables by accusing me of racism, slandering me to YouTube to hide the truth about Brits. Oh, hello. We argued recently, but I forgot the details. You are racist. I am no racist. Hating evil genocidal British culture doesn't mean I hate any British race. Culture isn't race. I actually love the varieties of all races in the world and know all men are brothers from Adam. My series proving the British Empire wasn't the biggest also is to include proof Spain committed no genocide and was not racist. Oh, I'm so glad I have that glory as opposed to the British shame of being worse than Nazis. Darwin wanted all non-Europeans to be exterminated. Do you agree with Darwin that subhuman blacks were a thing? You are definitely racist, scumbag. You have been more than reported. Faces everywhere. When the debate is lost, slander becomes the tool of the losers. No, you're the racist because you're afraid to answer my question because answer condemns you. Again, do you agree with Darwin that subhuman blacks were a thing? You can't tell the difference between culture and race. I hate genocidal racist British culture. That's not the same as hating the English, the Welsh, the Scottish, or the Irish. I actually plan to learn Irish, and I like it much more than Spanish. We're not all racist like you, do you see? You never proved I'm a racist. You're just a liar grasping at straws because I sunk the ship of British pride. The origin of species by means of natural selection or the preservation of favored races in the struggle for life. By Charlie. Struggle. Where did I hear this concept before? Struggle, struggle, kampf, 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 mein kampf. Oh, would you look at that. The struggle, mein kampf. They were both thinking about the same thing. Struggle of races. Mein kampf. Und mein, mein Deutschland's kampf. The kampf, the struggle of Germany to defeat those inferior races. Without British Darwin, no Hitler. Which are worse than their followers. If you doubt it, just ask a Tasmanian. Oh, wait, you can't. They're all dead. Brits murdered them all. This Englishman tried conquering Central America. Honduras killed him. Racist British mythology continues ruining lives. These are the ten stages of genocide. Number four, dehumanization, equating people with animals. Notice how atheism does this. Because atheists believe we're not made in God's image, we're just animals. So atheism makes genocide very easy. No wonder atheism spread by communist holocaust. Number six, propaganda. So Darwin did the propaganda dehumanizing the Native Americans, as I already covered. And I got more. These barbarians like animals. Oh, I already covered that one. Wretched canoes. How little can the higher powers of the mind be brought into play? To knock a limpet from the rock does not even require cunning compared to the instincts of animals. Their most ingenious work, poor. Whilst beholding these savages, one asks, where have they come? Whence? The most wild and savage group that can be imagined. Hideous yells. Equality among the individuals composing these tribes must retard their civilization. Savages of the lowest grade. Without being in the least aware, said Darwin. Looks like demoniacs. Remember, this was not a random Brit. This was a Brit sponsored by the British crown. This guy represented the British officially. We pitying. We look down on them. They're inferior to us. I got to hate the very sound of their voices. We have at last fairly left these wretches. More to come, God willing.